Good morning guys, welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be a little bit of everything. It's very early morning. I love, I know I say this so often, but I love when the light hits so beautifully in the morning in the flat. It means that A, it's sunny outside, which is rare and beautiful in the winter and something definitely to be grateful for. And that feeling of gratitude immediately helps put me on the right mood, like right vibes, right everything. So definitely one thing to be grateful for today. However, maybe however, is not the right way to proceed but i wanted to say that this week is going to be like extremely busy i have a ton of stuff to complete before thursday it's monday today when i start filming this and hopefully when you're watching this i'm all ready because you'd be watching this on wednesday night and hopefully i've completed everything that i need to complete for my successful fashion month start Ding! So I'm going to New York and after that I'm going straight to London and I'm going straight to Milan and then I'm going to Paris and then I think after that when we're done I will finally earn a nice holiday around my birthday time. The reason why I say earn I completely blame my parents for that who have taught me that if you work hard at something or like towards something that then you kind of deserve. Uh, during my school years it was like if you study really hard this whole weekend on Sunday night you can go to cinema. You know like things like that if you really get like the best grades or whatever like for us it was to have like five was like the highest grade that you can achieve in Serbian school and if I would get like above 4.5 I could get like a vacation that I wanted for the summer holidays but whatever anyway fashion month is going to be very intense you guys wish us good luck that's all I'm gonna say but I'm also very excited because I love it I love the buzz I just looked at a New York fashion week video from the last year and last year is not a good term last season which is the September one and I'm so excited to go back there like I'm excited for the hustle, for the jet lag, for waking up early in the morning to go get a coffee, to change up a hairstyle. I'm excited to go to the show to see my friends. It feels like, you know, that like first day of school when you see your friends, at least New York feels like that. When you see your friends and you're all talking about how did your holidays go? That's how New York Fashion Week feels like. Okay, I admit that London and Milan already don't feel like that because you already are sick of them <laughs> by that time. Not really, but you know what I mean. And that's just something I'm really excited for. Anyway, I wanted to show you a lip combo. I even brought it here. I've shown it many times before. This is not sponsored. I show it because I like it, okay? Charlotte Tilbury lip cheat in iconic nude. Now this and the Buxom lip liner that I bought in Dubai are my absolute favorite to go to lip liners. I also like my Refi lip liners, but I ran out of them. So this is what it is. And I really love the iconic nude. I think it's like, I'll show you my lips like closer up. I obviously like heavily overlined them to kind of create like a perfect like symmetry and stuff. But I really, really, really like this lip liner. And then I'm using it with this lip gloss. This is the Buxom Full On Plumping Lip Cream in shade Bellini. This is what it looks like. I don't know if you will be able to see it. One thing I want to say though, is that Buxom is not available in Italy in Sephora. It's is it available in New York? Can my US friends tell me? Is it available in the US? Where can I buy Buxom? Because I really like the products a lot. I think this is one of the first times that I encounter them and I believe that I previously purchased them in the States. Other things that I wanted to share with you is you will be very happy to know and me too that I will be getting my nails done prior to fashion one. Look at this. They're way too long. First of all, like extremely long that they hurt how long they are. Okay. And also I have my money pedi. I'm getting my eyebrows done. I am gonna get my hair done. I'm gonna go for a wax also all this week before Thursday so that I'm all ready. I've had like uh, facials and things like that already done so that my skin's gonna be ready and glowy, hopefully. But yeah, I also have to like organize all of my team. We're booking flights, hotels. We're sorting out visas. We are, I mean, when I say visas, I mean like estas and stuff. There is logistical nightmare. And you know, it's not like I'm just working towards New York. We still have to plan like London and Milan and Paris so there's so much to do it's crazy but it's also really good because we have like a few new team members that are bringing fresh energy and it's just like yeah it's fun and some old members that kind of are still doing stuff as for example this video so anyway that being said i think we're gonna get going because there's another thing that i really want to speak to you about and that is what you probably can see the title of the video say it's the von cleef ick guys i saw that tiktok video okay i saw it it was the one saying like a very very 
popular TikTok creator, a really beautiful girl, she was saying that Van Cleef is giving her an ick because it's so overly present. And well, right now I'm not wearing it because I have like a, an errand to run. But obviously, we're gonna go deep into that discussion in this video just after we go and pick something up from Van Cleef in this video. Yep. Anyway, that being said, I have a meeting with my managers today. I have to go to run two or three errands in town and I think that's that. I think we're just gonna kind of try and do like a big heavy session of Notion where I'm gonna offload everything that I have on my mind because I have like, I don't know, to, to clear out memory cards and to charge up batteries and to organize things. And I wanna do it on time so that I'm not doing everything on Wednesday just night before the flight. So one thing at a time, let's get going. I just realized I promised you a nice view of my makeup. I don't know if this is a nice view of the makeup, but I think the light kind of comes from here so that you can also see the lip products in the combo. I feel like this is insane. Love this lip combo. The makeup I'm wearing, well, kind of like same old, same old. Ooh, look at this artsy light. Love it. Anyway, currently in all gray, very homey. These are my Boston Birkenstocks, Magda Butram, Kate, but we're gonna change soon. Guys, so outfit of the day, just wanted to quickly show it to you. I'm wearing the beloved Kate jeans baggy. Yes, I know some of you complain about them, but I love them. I don't know if I've ever actually shown you these Gucci loafers. They are so cute with a bit of platform. I really like them. Horse bit. They do have silver hardware, but on this occasion, you can't really see them. I've also got a Saint Laurent belt, which you also can't see, hopefully later. A cashmere knit from Lily Silk. This is my Saint Laurent beloved jacket and my Kelly box bag that I also love very, very, very much. So this is the outfit of the day. I'll also have my Phoebe Philo sunglasses or my Saint Laurent Mika. I'll see, but in general, this is the look of the day. One thing I want to say. Okay, so what we're doing this morning is we're going to go to Van Cleef because I have something that I've ordered right after Christmas that has miraculously arrived and I would like to go and pick it up. I ordered like a few things, but this is the first thing that arrived and I'm going to bring you with me or I'll try to bring you with me and then we'll discuss it later. I'll unbox it, etc. So that's the plan of the day. After that, I have lunch with my manager who's also coincidentally my really, really, really good friend and she's getting married this year at the end of the year and I think she wants to invite me to her wedding or she maybe just wants to see me maybe she doesn't want to invite me to her wedding that would be maybe a little bit awkward but also not because I love her very much and we just like to have lunch <laughs> together from time to time but she has been my manager for I think over eight years for sure I think at least and she's just like so fun and so kind and so nice so regardless and we're going for lunch before the fashion month starts so that's that guys let's get going so I wanted to tell you a few things. We'll answer a few questions that you guys asked me about, actually. One of the questions that I've got a lot is, how come I'm not wearing, what happened to all of my piercings? Where are they? Guys, it's all good. They're all still here. I think I mentioned it in one of the videos briefly. I took out all of my piercings and I was like, you know what? I kinda can't be bothered to put them back in, but I will. I will definitely put them all back in before the fashion week. I'm a person that likes to change. I'm a person that likes to, you know, like for example, sometimes people ask me, how come you don't wear this anymore? I'm blessed that I have so many beautiful things that I like to change sometimes and sometimes kind of take it all off or I, I don't know, change things up, do things differently. It depends on... Also, like, for example, I've had, like, massages and facials and things and then you usually tend to take everything off in those cases just because uh, the masseuse will ask and stuff and then when I take it off, I'm like, oh, I have another appointment in two days. I'm not gonna put everything back in and then put it all back out and then I have a jewelry shoot, I'll have to to take it off anyway you know what i mean so sometimes like right now i'm not wearing any necklaces i'm not wearing any bracelets and i'm not wearing a watch that's very rare for me but yeah sometimes i do it like that but honestly i have like quite a few piercings so i have five in this year three four five six in that year so even if like everyone takes a minute and then i don't like how it looks and then i change it all up and stuff it's a good half an hour of my time so to tell you the truth these days half an hour has felt like a pure luxury i never had that amount of time especially because I took a bit of a weekend off. As you guys know, it was my best friend's birthday. So we just took it like really nice and easy. Now we're on Monte Napoleone where all the shops are and we are heading to Van Cleef. Okay, we arrived and we're here in this kind of like a private salon. Is your girl. Love it here. Look at all this. Okay guys, I saw them, them, so it's a pair of earrings. I tried them on. They are very, very special. They are like maybe even, for a second I was thinking, are they gonna be too much for me? Because especially now that I'm going for this kind of more minimal vibe, but no, they're absolutely stunning and I can't wait to show them to you. Also now with this light, I can really see the effects of the laser because I feel like I got my glow back and I really needed that. I didn't feel like, you know, 
myself during couture. But anyway, we're finishing up here. We're going to lunch with Marcella, who you met actually in one of the videos. Guys, you asked me to have my manager Marcella in today's video. Who are you? <laughs> And then we're going home for the grand reveal and talking about the Van Cleef Hick. She's so pretty, you guys. My bride-to-be. <laughs> guys, I am invited. I am invited. <laughs> Give it here, give it here. Oh, it's so beautiful. The only problem is that I don't want to open it because it's so beautiful. Look how beautiful it is. I love this paper. I love this stamp. I love the logo. Ah, it's gorgeous. Look at this. Oh. Home, sweet home, and about a million and one hundred things that I wanted to discuss with you. I just realized there's a big Fendi project that I need to shoot these days before Fashion Month that is also looking at me. I literally have this like brain dump in my notion where I'm sort of trying to... how do I even put this? I'm trying to sort of like put all the different things that I'm doing or that I have to do throughout this week. Ah, there was like something urgent I needed to do when I arrived home. Okay, I'll do it like after I speak to you guys because I'm a queen of procrastination, clearly. But first things first, I wanted to talk to you about this Van Cleef ick. As mentioned in this video, there was a TikToker who posted like about getting an ick from all the people wearing Van Cleef, how it's like become too common and how there are a lot of fakes. And I kind of wanted to discuss what I really feel about it or what I think about it. So first of all, I wanted to answer the question does Van Cleef give me an ick? I mean it is a tough question to answer so I wanted to kind of answer let's see hmm. doesn't give me an ick definitely doesn't give me an ick it's my favorite bracelet definitely most definitely does not give me an ick Chalcedony doesn't give me an ick 10 motif necklaces doesn't give me an ick doesn't give me an ick guys this jewelry definitely doesn't give me any. I just answered the question. I literally went today to get all the pieces from the um, Trezor because I don't keep all the pieces at home and I have to go right back after as well. So that's annoying. But for you guys, I do it. That jacket. I bought it last year, like this time or even a year before, I don't know, like long ago. And I love it. I love when you buy like something expensive and you really make the use out of it. And I feel the same about Van Cleef. I spent a lot of money at the brand. I'll tell you one thing, 100% it's possible that I buy a sweater or even that jacket that I just wore and then you see like everybody wearing that jacket or even like exactly the same version of it but it's not the real one and you see everybody wearing it but it 100% gives me ultimate satisfaction still when I wear it and the same goes for Van Cleef. I'll tell you honestly what are my favorite pieces from my collection. I love this bracelet that I have just shown you. This is dark mother of pearl with diamonds and rose gold. So beautiful. I wear this a lot. Equally as much I wear my green malachite bracelet. I love this bracelet very much. I think I got it. Did I get it in Paris? Not sure. From all of the 10 motive necklaces that I have, this one gives me so much joy and happiness. It is the Agathe. It's my first ever 10 motive necklace. I just love how the blue complements me. But then as a little from me to me gift, I got the Malachite 10 motive just after I got engaged. And I love this. Like, look how beautiful is this. I'll tell you something. Why I can really um, sim sympathize with people who feel like when something becomes so common it gives you an ick, I'll tell you why. So I remember when I first started buying designer stuff, the hair is really annoying. I really need to do something with it today because it's just like, you know, but I'm gonna style it. I'm gonna style it. It's gonna be better anyway. Or maybe I'll wash it tonight. We'll see. We'll figure it out together. I remember when I first started buying designer stuff and like earning money and kind of shopping. I felt like, okay, I'm spending a lot of money on this one piece. It has to be like very special to me. And then when it would become kind of very much worn by everybody, I felt like, ah, oh, 
I spent all this money on this item and then someone else is not spending all that money and is still wearing the kind of ripoff of it and I felt like it wasn't fair and I was kind of angry about the situation. Since those times, I have matured, <laughs> I think at least. This is like a very honest conversation by the way. I have matured because that was like in my 20s. I've only just started working and earning money and I think like we all can understand and if there's anybody that can say that they haven't changed from their 20s and that they have the same belief system that they had in the 20s and that they haven't improved all i can say is like i'm sorry for you because you should always aim to improve and to become a better person and to get better so i would say that most definitely i have gotten to a point where i definitely do not care if someone likes what i wear or if they don't like what i wear or if everybody's wearing the same jacket like the saint laurent one or the same uh, van cleef jewelry that is not authentic it does not bother me at all for myself because i'm like do you know what what does that take away from me i'll never forget when i was on my first ever press trip i think it was like my first ever press trip it was so many years ago more than 10 years ago it was on a trip with river island okay i wore this chanel boy bag it was my first kind of chanel bag and this girl on the trip that was another influencer and she asked me wow i like this bag is it a real chanel bag and i was so offended i was like of course it's real like i spent so much money on this like this bag is so expensive how can you even doubt it's real you know what i mean like why would i carry around work in fashion and carry around something that's not real but like like, that's me in 20s and it's completely fine for young girls to perceive who especially young girls who have a lot of money to perceive this as something bad and they feel like it should be only exclusive for them but then other people wear it as well even though they can't really afford it and it's some sort of elitism that I think is very unfair and I definitely do not feel like that I'll tell you one fact for sure is if I see people who wear things that they just like you know really really let's say someone it's okay if someone loves this design but they cannot afford it and they buy something similar one thing that i don't like when it comes to fakes i really really feel upset about that is that this intellect intellectual property you know someone came up with this design and then they are being ripped off for their idea which is then being monetized and sold to someone else but that doesn't bother me if that person is buying it anyway couldn't afford this and if someone really likes this design but they can't afford the or like original version and they buy a copy of it i would never judge because they cannot afford how can you judge someone for not being able to afford something i think that's like really really wrong in this kind of occasion i would say i am more judge when someone can afford it but they still choose to wear a fake in that occasion i would say unless you're uneducated or ignorant or you don't know that you know there's a real design then it's kind of like a ripoff because you could actually be a client of the original idea creator but you are buying from someone that is just ripping off the idea and monetizing it right so that's my two cents on the topic is van Cleef giving me an ache not at all and you know why not because i don't know like this piece i love it i wear it every day it's such a unique beautiful bracelet i've always loved it since the first moment I laid my eyes on it I loved it this bracelet reminds me of Paris when I got it the old apartment I love it it's just full of beautiful memories I don't know I have like this bracelet reminds me of my trip to Dubai I bought it in Dubai it's kind of like a souvenir just beautiful 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 the 10 motif is my first 10 motif necklace that I got and that I loved in all honesty I think it would be like really ungrateful and unfair to say hey guys I love this necklace I bought all of these necklaces with my money like no discount no nothing it's like you know unless like i don't know like filippo gave me something it's basically coming from this family but the point is like i show you these pieces and i like it and then imagine a lot of people start wearing it and then me saying like i don't want it anymore because now everybody's wearing it i feel like maybe maybe i was like that about some things in my 20s I'm not gonna lie about it, but I think I learned from that. Yeah, the hair is still annoying me. I've learned from that and I stopped being like that as I grew up, but there is one thing that I feel like, if I'm very honest and I like to be very honest with you guys because I know you appreciate honesty and I'm just very like, bear with you on a lot of topics like that. I'll tell you one thing, when it comes to influencers, like if I'm wearing this jacket and then every other influencer on earth wears it, I feel like I need to move on because I don't want to show as my thing, the exactly same thing as every other girl. 
well. But I do feel like I'm super happy if I see a lot of people on the street wear something that I like. Like, you know, there are some brands that I wear that I've never seen any other influencer show. Like, like Medea is the Romanian brand that I love very much and I love it. And then sometimes you guys text me like, oh my God, I bought this immediately after I saw you wear it. Or like some kind of more rare brands that I show you guys and then I see you wear it. I'm like so happy about it. But yeah, if I'm completely, completely honest, I do understand what it means. Like if every single influencer is showing the same thing, then you kind of start feeling like I want to show you something different because imagine if every ice cream shop is just selling vanilla ice cream, then what differentiates one shop from the other? You know, it happened to me in the past and this is why I guess I'm also so passionate about copyright in like infringement when like someone copies a design or idea or whatever. It happened to me in the past where I say something that is completely like my own belief or idea. Then I watch another YouTuber video and I see that they are literally saying the same thing that I said about like my childhood or my life or something. And I'm like, but, but that's my life. Like, how can you like give an interview and say exactly the same answers that I have given about my life, about your life. You know, this is kind of like a bit weird and that's where things get a bit awkward. Yeah. But I do think it's fair that if you do rip someone's idea, you give them credit. So I don't know what to tell you, but one thing for sure is that we have something to unbox and it's something very special. And actually I wasn't sure because I also have like a little something from Hermes to unbox. It's not little, it's a bag guys, but I don't know. It's not going to be in this video. I need to figure out which video I'm going to include it in because I'm kind of feeling very precious about it and I don't want to just unbox it. I'm sorry, it is what it is. Now let's go and unbox this. I don't know if you can see me very well because I'm like changed the setup a tiny bit and the light as well. And I also, again, put a lip liner because I felt like the initial frame was not giving. Do you agree? The light can change a lot. I feel like I already look better because previously I felt like the light was a bit like dull. Anyway, finally I'll unbox this. Obviously it came in this and it came in this and then there was more in the bag. Oh wait, here's the bag. Let me show you. Travel pouch and the authenticity certificate, which kind of looks like this. Okay, I'm actually very excited. Are you ready for this? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm presenting you something very, very, very special. Here we go. These are the earrings. They're mother of pearl for motif. Gorgeous, gorgeous earrings. I tried them on in the shop. I'll insert the clip here so you can see as well what they look like. They're a lot. It's like a special occasion piece, I would say at least. But I don't know. I felt like it, there was a big room in my collection for something like this. And if I tell you the truth, these were not the earrings I really, really wanted. Wait, this goes on this ear. Okay. They're not the earrings I really wanted, like per se, this exact style. But I went to the beginning of the year to set my wish list with my essay she's incredible I love her very much and I told her okay so there's this style and there's this style let's see whatever comes first and she told me like that this style will probably not arrive because they haven't seen not even one model of these last year like whole last year so I was like okay this model is not gonna arrive so I ordered something like custom made for me I paid the deposit for it and then literally like a week later she texted me she was like tomorrow you're not gonna believe it I know I said that these will not arrive but they're coming in and I was like what do you mean they're coming in I thought they're not arriving they're impossible to get so she was like do you want to cancel quickly the custom made order which was for this piece and I was like okay yes I still have like I said I'm waiting for one gold guilloche van cleef earring to come in stock and I'm waiting for my other single Alhambra earring to come in stock and besides that I think I'll be fine with what I want like other jewelry wish list stuff that I have for this year is not from Van Cleef but I got like kind of really what I wanted and I really love them they're beautiful very special very unique if you see and I think also for special events like I have I don't know like some weddings that I'll be attending this year I think these are beautiful I have like few little things that I feel like I could be wearing these for those occasions so that's really really nice love them anyway yeah so we did that I wanted to conclude my story about whether or not Van Cleef is giving me an ick. I'll take these off now. I think they're so beautiful. I'll put them back safely. I don't really think I'm going to need them for fashion week. I need to kind of consider what I have going on and then I will lock them away. You know how I operate nowadays. So yeah, beautiful. Just one more little frame in the box. Really, really giving you my two cents. I also wanted to give my two cents on the road bag but I don't know if I'm gonna do that in this video or in the next one just because I think that bag is like 
I need to dedicate it a video because that's how good it is. And I also am planning to actually reveal what's in that Hermes body bag. No, 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 no. In that Hermes suit bag because it's really cool and it's really special but guys i have to tell you honestly i'm doing so many things today and tomorrow and the day after for fashion week and i'm just trying to prioritize things and it's impossible Filippo sent me so many messages so i need to pull him out to understand even what he wanted to say but yeah we're doing lots of things we're planning we are organizing and all i can tell you is that i'm very excited for this one i think it's gonna be like a really cool fashion week and i just you know what i always say if you you fail to prepare prepare to fail so that's that good morning guys i am starting this day at 9 a.m at types of skin or ministry of nails as you guys know it's kind of like a same but like two different locations but let's not go into that right now we are getting manicure pedicure eyebrow lamination everything because look how long are these nails they're gonna get much shorter cannot wait to get my eyebrows now because it changes my whole face you guys will see that and nails will get shorter we're getting full prep for fashion week so let's start We're still in the process, but we're going much shorter because I think this will make my life so much easier for the fashion month. Now guys, we're gonna do the eyebrows. For my face, eyebrows are literally the most important thing. I mean, I think for everybody's face, but for me, this treatment really, really makes a lot of difference. Guys, this is for me the best treatment there is. You have to come here and try it because I cannot like tell you how good it is. Look at this. I don't know where to start. Wow, I look like... Honestly, I'm the kind of person that can look really... Okay, like, this is kind of now no makeup. Obviously, the eyebrows look very bold because they have to stay in this place until I wash my face. Tonight, when I wash my face, I'll try to just wash around the eyebrows, like around the eyes, and not wet the whole face. Does that make sense? Anyway, I washed my hair last night, so I haven't styled it. I just washed it. It smells really good. But uh, what I wanted to tell you is that I'm the kind of person that that can look like from this to a completely different kind of I don't know I'll insert a picture two days ago for my best friend's birthday when I really like really dressed up because and I think it's like two different people like people would say it's photoshop or people would say it's like plastic surgery I mean there is obviously like we're not saying there's no plastic surgery I'm just saying that from one day to another people could ask me if I have actually had a full face transplant because of how much like makeup and getting dressed up can actually change my appearance that being said nails done manicure pedicure eyebrows we want for this like really short neat clean girl type of nails and I know that now everybody's going into this mob wife aesthetic and it's probably like long nails and red or something like that but honestly i'll tell you something the nails that i had before they were so beautiful the baby boomer i love so much and i think at ministry of nails they just do the best job with cuticles with shape with everything but long nails are really hard for me to like very long nails are very hard for me to operate with i don't think it's my style when i look at a hand it's not really my hand this feels more like my hand you know that's that today is like one of those most annoying days for me i actually wouldn't call this actual errands because what i'm doing is getting my nails done getting my pedicure you're done getting my eyebrows done i'm having waxing later and i'm going to a dentist so technically honestly those are the things that should be done on a day off and they're not errands but i prefer to sit at home and do emails than to get my nails done in terms of like the way i spend my time and like that's a big statement because i actually love seeing my ladies at the ministry of nails i love you know like chatting with them and stuff but honestly i just feel like i have so many things to do that sometimes just sitting like three hours in a like salon or i hate when i go to the dentist and i have to sit in the the waiting room for longer than 10 minutes i feel like i have appointments i have things to do so anyway today is that kind of day that i just have to get those things done and i know it's so ridiculous do you really have to get your nails done but in all honesty a i like to have like a clean look neat i don't have to worry about my nails now for the rest of the fashion week and also you know if i'm doing a job and the nails are messy and I'm doing like a makeup tutorial, imagine. Horrible. Not judging anybody else. I only keep high standards for myself, but everybody else can do whatever they want. That's just me. My therapist says that I am a little bit hypocritical. I've spoken about this before with how high I keep standards for myself, but not so high for the other people. Like I let other people get away with so much more than I let myself get away with. And that's okay. I'm the problem, it's me. Anyway, I have like an insane fashion month order here next to me, which you will see in the next video. I can't wait to rip it open and to see 
see everything that I've ordered because the pieces are better than ever. They're insane. So can't wait for that. But it's two o'clock. I have many text messages. So two o'clock and they keep coming in. <laughs> That's my sister. We're just sorting out all the accommodations and stuff on Fashion Week. Basically, everything is booked for New York. I'm going to New York with three people. One of them is Filippo. So two team members, Filippo. We're doing like a lot of really great projects as well. That makes me quite excited. So the adventure starts. I'm going to the dentist because I'm actually grinding my teeth and I need to get the, he's made me the, what do you call them, sort of like a retainer when you sleep that you hold on to. And like, actually it's gotten better. I was grinding more around Christmas time. I think also obviously like getting used to the new bite for me because I had like more of a lisp when I just got my smile widened. Widened is a word, right? Widened wider smile <laughs> that's better so yeah i was like grinding like crazy but i have to say that was like one of the best things that i've done to myself getting my smile wider especially before my wedding and i'm so happy about it i can't even tell you but it took a little bit to get like used to it you know it's just it is what it is so anyway i have like also a ton of oil on my face this is the sarah chapman skin assist oil like night oil or something that i applied in the morning because it's okay and also some vitamin c very comfy cozy you know at home edition but now I'm gonna get to the dentist I'll probably bring you guys with me after that I have to get the waxing and I just wanted to like chit and chat with you a little bit and that's what I wanted to tell you I was like I'm just talking and I'm not saying anything I guess for many of you that's nothing new but guys you're keeping me company don't complain about anything I love it when we're together and we're chit chatting and we're just hanging out in my house I wish you could all hang in my house but obviously you wouldn't all fit in my house but I wanted to tell you about my Duolingo experience so look at my streak 33 days is it focusing no okay that's better guys i'm so proud of myself 33 days of dueling okay i know i know some people have like 10 years streak or something like that i don't know i heard someone has like 10,000 days is that possible no that would be 30 years or something like that so probably not possible but anyway my duolingo i wanted to like Obviously, I got all my friends hooked on it. And I just wanted to say this. You can get that app for free. I mean, this now sounds like it's a sponsored Duolingo ad. Duolingo, please, if you want to sponsor me, sponsor me. Because I genuinely love it, okay? So I love to get like sponsorships from the brands and the companies that I actually thoroughly enjoyed. So this would be like a perfect fit. But as you guys know, I would never recommend something that I think is not good. But with the Duolingo, so I got my best friends as well to start doing Duolingo. I think they have so many languages. I don't know how many languages they have, but probably many. What is this new courses math? Loading math math i don't want to do math but i'll screenshot it and send it to my sister because subtract and add small numbers goodbye i definitely do not want to. please bring me back to my italian anyway so apparently learners that reach a 50 day streak or more are nine times more likely to complete a course than anybody else i am currently on section two unit three so it means that i've done let me show you what i've done can you see this so that was my first unit second unit this is my third unit it's about travel and talking about belongings Belongings. It's just like section two. It's still quite easy for me, but I wanted to start from the beginning because I never actually took an Italian lesson in my life. So I can like converse, but I don't know any rules or never studied it, which is why I think Duolingo is very good because I've learned like a lot of things and like accents on words and spelling. And so I kind of want to learn and get it better. My main actual reason is to speak to my suocieri, to my parents-in-law more fluently because right now like they call me on the phone and I call them on the phone and we're trying okay like it's it's happening but I feel like I cannot really express myself so well and I usually am pretty good with expressing myself especially my emotions my thoughts and in general I'm good with words my mom says probably everybody's mom says that they're good with words or something you know what I mean but anyway moms I know are not the best judges of like our <laughs> flaws and good sides but you know what I mean the virtues I think what's very important is that I'm learning and 33 day streak I'm very proud of it so i want to say if you want to learn a language but you don't want to spend money there's duolingo which is like free i decided to pay for it because i didn't want like all the ads around it and i was like if i pay for it i'm more likely to actually use it so yeah they also have english because i know that like some of my viewers they say hey i wish i could learn better english i strongly recommend it 
it's a very very genuine recommendation you guys so if you have on your goal for 2024 to learn another language i want to say Boirom because that's like something that like experts from bosnia technically do but anyway you know where to find like the resources that's another thing so now it's 2 10 i need to brush my teeth i need to go to the dentist and you guys are gonna come with me let's do this guys i know i said i was gonna film at the dentist that did not happen because it was like in and out very very quick that black coat is driving me crazy but it's just there because obviously i'll be leaving in another 30 minutes i just need to have a shower but before i take my shower do you know what i actually miss the us i haven't been to the states since september i stopped by on my way back at Wolford because i wanted to buy some tights that i might need often you guys ask me about the basics where i shop for basics and things like this now i bought three pairs i wanted three pairs of 10 denier tights 10 denier like the very thin and kind of like see-through like the current like sort of like a saint laurent type vibe trend i thought i was size large and then the sales associate told me that i'm medium so i got the medium i'll show you what they look like i wanted three pairs they only had two so she gave me one which is control top it's kind of like shaping i suppose you know this kind of right because i don't really care maybe like for me discuss like those woolly saint laurent styles i'll show you what is ten denier what does it look like pretty thin you know but still the tight is there okay so something like this on the leg i got that and i got a lot of sunglasses that i wanted to show you i will link them below all the ones that i want to show you because the first ones i already started unboxing they just arrived and obviously i still have those boxes to show you in the next video but first things first look at this guys these are so fabulous i'm very much into frames like these i'll link the exact model below but these are from tom ford and i love the gradient i love the the shape i love the frame i love everything about them beautiful okay that's the pair number one you know it was one of those things that i was hoping i'm not gonna like but that didn't happen then i thought sunglasses were on my no buy list but it's february these celine uh, sunnies now i have the similar style in silver but it's not the same style these are different and even on the size yes they're gold they have a little logo you see and they're kind of like hexagonal they're not oval so this is this and i got a few more pairs from tom ford i want to try these i think these could be a perfect fashion week pair if i'm honest i've always loved tom ford sunglasses this is what these look like again i'll link them below these are just dropping a little bit you see but they're supposed to sit here but obviously you can bring sunglasses any sunglasses that are loose on your face or that something is whatever is going on with them you can bring them to any kind of Petitions and they can fix that for you very often never happened to me that i had to pay for it like literally very often it was free of charge so i think that's pretty great oh another pair different one like sort of more slim <gasps> i think these were my favorite these were my favorite when i was choosing i don't know why they look here kind of reddish in real life yeah i guess they are kind of reddish but i love them which pair is your favorite there's so many good pairs right now that i'm loving and i just love this style especially for fashion week very cool i got lots of really really nice things that i've planned for new york london milan and paris and the outfits i have them all in like google doc sheets i have like prepared all the things but a lot of the things that i have planned outfits with i still haven't unboxed them so they're still in those boxes that are are sitting somewhere there so it could be that actually some of those things don't work because i still haven't tried them so we're just gonna have to like play it also by ear i spoke to filippo while i was on my way to the dentist and he said you know i think you should start packing tonight because i was back last minute but i have my outfits prepared and he said you know packing is becoming such a like fatigue thing for you you should kind of start doing it earlier but also like i don't like having a suitcase in the middle of my wardrobe like open and then something's in and then maybe i want to wear them and then you know what i mean you forget it because you're like oh, i wore it last night and then uh. so i guess what i'll do i wanted to film this video today where i show you everything that's in those my three boxes and stuff but i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna film it tomorrow morning even though tomorrow morning I have several different things. I have my life coach. I have an appointment. But I'll, I'll make it work because I really want to show you guys. Maybe I, I'll get Filippo to comment on all of my different purchases and things like that. So yeah, which sunglasses did you like the most? If we do them like pair number one, pair number two, pair number three, and 
pair numero quattro, number four. Okay, what do you think? That's that. I think, should I finish this vlog here? I think I should finish this vlog here because it's not like you guys want to come waxing with me, do you? I mean, it's okay, you know? Definitely not a very glamorous place to go to. I have actually removed my hair with the laser hair removal, but what's interesting is that like, even when you remove your hair with laser, you still have like one or two hairs kind of left and I don't like to shave because then if I just wax, I literally don't have to shave once in the next, I don't know, um, four weeks pretty much because that's kind of like my situation right now I, I can be like fully calm and chill during the fashion month which is really nice and then officially i have done like a facial i've done manicure pedicure eyebrows waxing and i'll get my hair done as well before i leave to new york so that we're all ready and prepared then you can never be perfectly prepared you know how what the situation is like well anyway i'm excited let me know how's the temperature to my new york girlies and boys what's the temperature like is it freezing cold is there another blizzard going on is there like some sort of like new york fashion week weather situation again you know i always think that because the first ever new york fashion week that i've done there was this name of blizzard i remember like it was yesterday and the shows were empty another thing i wanted to ask you is would you like me to do again this fashion week another video with filippo where he's commenting on my old fashion week outfits i know you guys really liked that video when we did it last season so if you want us to do one again this season maybe not just the new york fashion week looks maybe like old fashion weeks so you can comment on we'll see anyway that's that for now i'm gonna love you i'm gonna leave you i'm gonna go shower go wax and then just you know try and sort out everything and organize my life wish me good luck i'll need it thank you so much for watching for a little chat for being there and here and everywhere with me and i'll see you in my next one guys bye